sat with a sailor on a bench in a railway station in Sandusky, Ohio, in the cold, hard, midwestern night, waiting for the next big train going west. It was a forgotten land, land of utility poles and plenty of cement and the uncovered platform and the trains coming in and out of the yard and it had been snowing pretty hard all night. There was more snow on the way. So I asked him where had he been and he said Hong Kong. Singapore, Honolulu, Valparaiso. Montreal, Reykjavik, Sydney, Anchorage, Panama, Yokohama, Piraeus, Port-au-Prince, and New York City. He had cruised drunk as the midnight sun through the black waters of the Bering Strait. He drank so much kava in the South Seas until he just couldn't feel his tongue anymore. He had wore grass shoes in Mindanao, sunglasses in Rio. He panhandled for drug money in Goa, and he had smuggled sapphires west and blue jeans east, and he had sat at the feet of a guru in the Malaya foothills. He had gotten laid in Bombay and he speaks some Arabic and Dutch and knew how to handle himself in a barroom brawl and how to tell if a man has a knife. Just then, the train from Chicago to Washington, D.C. came by, carrying loads of men and women in business suits. They had leather briefcases and their overcoats on, and most of them were drinking coffee or with their eyes closed, or staring at the Chicago papers or out the windows at us. He asked me where I was from, and I said, I'm from here, just up the road, Vermilion, but I'm headed to any of those places you've been to. And I asked him where he was headed, and he said Cleveland. Altoona will be next. As a reminder, please exit the front of the coach for Altoona. Exit the front for Altoona. <laughs>